In the Philippines, the supernatural and the mundane share the same street corners. And a fighter from these tough neighborhoods finds inspiration in something greater than just his own skill. Daniel Feronda is an expert in Pakiti Tercia Kali, the Filipino fighting system that reveres the blade. Even as an undefeated Kali champion, he trusts his life to the supernatural powers of amulets. And at this market in Quiapo, Daniel offered some advice on how to avoid the tat and take care of your amulet. Now let me take you to this stall right here. Okay, right here. So these are the real amulets, then? These are the real amulets. What would you use them for? Uh, okay, like this one. Mm -hmm. This one is used for fighting. Whenever you pray, you have to put this in the middle of your palm. And then always put this inside your pocket every time so that the amulet will work. Mm -hmm. When you buy it, it does nothing. You have to do a little cleansing with it first. You have to pray a lot, uh, probably about three days, before the amulet is actually be a part of you. Amulets aren't just for fighting. Almost all of human experience can be modified with one of the trinkets from these stalls. Okay, if you see this, this one, this is used for uh, people who wanted to, to take your position. This is more like for envy. If you're a world champion, for example, somebody wants to take your, your title of you, they have to use this against you. But you should have your own amulet also to counter that. Okay, like for example, what I have right now here is a real stone. The only difference is this stone is from nature. This one is man-made. It is believed that the rocks that came from the mountains are the ones that are really uh, given by God. Each time I fight in a tournament, I never lose. Not a single match. Because of that? Because of this. No one is allowed to touch this except me. Why? I bless this for over a week. I cleanse this, I pray with it, and I mean long hours of praying. If somebody else touches this, I have to cleanse it once again. If somebody else wanted to steal this from me, that's the reason why I have my second amulet with me. If somebody touches this, they lose their fingers off. <laughs> Daniel wanted to show one more secret of Chiapo Market. From under the counter, the supernatural weapon that every home should have. Now, this is very interesting. You know what this is? This is a crocodile penis. That's a crocodile penis. How big was the crocodile? <laughs> well, it, it shrunk already. All you have to do is boil this. Uh -huh. You drink the liquid, yeah. and you'll get a hard-on for one week. <laughs> so this is stronger than Viagra. That could hurt. <laughs> now, that could hurt. Natural crocodile penis Viagra. I think. Have you ever tried it? No, and I don't want to try this. It's going to hurt, isn't it? It's going to ache. I think so. Hard on, hard on for like an hour is bad enough. <laughs> Alone a week. It's like being 13 again. <laughs> Just down the road from Chiapo Market, where smiles belie the poverty of the shanty towns, self preservation becomes a real issue, and streetwise fighters can go to extraordinary lengths. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I've got a memory like a sieve. And you know, those moments where you get into a bit of bother and you know it's going to kick off. You reach into your pocket to get your amulet and you realise you left it in the bathroom this morning when you were brushing your teeth. Well, these guys have got the perfect solution. They insert the amulets into their bodies. This shack built over an open sewer is the HQ and operating theatre of Haring Bacal, the safety-conscious group led by self-style commander Emilio Nereja. Yung mga may huwagang bato na yan, saka talisman. Ito naman, itong pitong binaon dito, sakop na yung buong katawan mo. Pwersa naman siya ng lakas ng kamay mo at bilis sa pakikipaglaro. Each stone has a different property, offering both protection and enhanced combat skills to the recipient. And where they're placed in the body adds extra significance. Ito namang Haring Bakal ay siyang nakabaon sa akin dito sa may... Kung bakit naman tayo nagbabaon dito, samantalang sakop niya na yung buong pagkatao mo, para dagdag pwersa rin, mas lalo kang tumibay dito sa harap na kung ano man yung babanggay mong panganib, ligtas ka. 
at uh, hindi ka masyadong kahit na hindi ka tinatulak kay kasi kailangan may tibay kay maligtas ka rin sa mga panganib at saka yung mamalikmata sila sa iyo ito ang binabanggit din santisim sa bagay na ito ng no kung bakit ikinakabit itong santisim mo no at kasama niya yung batuaran niya para proteksyonan ang buong katawan no mabaw ng kanang santisim mo Haring Bakal isn't just for the desperate and the poor. The group has many followers from the police force and the army. There are two guys from the military here today, keen to build up their arsenal of internal amulets. At the end of the operation, the commander shows one lucky recipient the effectiveness of his new secret amulet. Sabi mo yung salita. Bimole, akram dalam perdisan, akram dalam perdisan. I think I'll stick to my lucky rabbit's foot and avoid machetes.